adventures of Biggles. At dawn, Ginger and Bertie see a figure moving silently across the long grass. But it is Mishu returning from his visit to the native crowd. However, his news gets them cracking at once. Santa Zulu and his gang are camped in the forest not far from the Englishman's camp. Hurriedly, they swing the plane round so that his nose is pointing to open country. They strike the tent, load the stores, and then a shot rings out. An antelope stands shuddering fearfully in the long grass. Another shot wounds it and sends the animal galloping across the plain. Immediately, natives appear from behind trees. They have seen the flyers. We fight, Juana. No oh, sizzling sausages, no. There must be a dozen of the blighters. We could put up a bit of a scrap. No, no fear. They're coming on the run. Into the kite, Trouts, and sprint. You first, Michu. Into the back. And be careful of that bally guy. You know, he skewered me with it. Miss so sorry, Juana. Right. Right, slam the hatch, Ginge. Now, now if only they'll keep those belly rifles quiet. And if only your engines don't seize, they're stone cold, Bertie. I can't help that old trout. Don't waste time revving. Those blokes are right in front of us. We'll scatter them. What the blazes are you doing? Don't yaw like that. I had to. There was a belly anthill in the way. Black elephant not in the way, Buana. <laughs> he moved. Yes, he sprinted all right. But we were only just in time. Look out! Sizzling sausages! The lion is standing up in front of us. I can't swerve at this speed. Pull on the stick! You'll have to, Bertie. Lift up! Well, we'll try, old man. Oh, I know it. No, straight up. We're going to stall. No, we won't. Keep leveling out. There! Now you're right! Oh! Whew. Nearly came an awful bump on your nether regions then, Michu. Michu not understand, Juana. Well, to dodge the old lion, we sort of took off before we were going fast enough. That meant the jolly old nozzle tilted up in the air too soon, and the kite wondered for a minute whether or not it had slid backwards onto its tail. Would have been awfully uncomfortable if it had. Uh, particularly as we would have pranged within a few feet of the lion. That must have been the bloke who was hanging around last night, Bertie. Oh, I say, don't be so belly cheerful. That means he was out there all the time. He probably was. <laughs> Still, he didn't attack us. And the old black elephant didn't skewer us, and we didn't prank. So we're still alive for them all to happen again another day. It's a great life, what? <laughs> Are you sure it was the black elephant? Monsieur Chauvoiner, Monsieur the black elephant another time. Monsieur wouldn't make a mistake, Algy. And let us be absolutely clear on this point, old Bean. Neither would we Liffies. Old Harriet distinctly opened one eye and said, The black elephant, sizzling sausages, take me back to the Lord and Master. <laughs> <laughs> At least it didn't frighten the nonsense out of you, Bertie. Oh, that's a permanent disease. Nothing would frighten that. Oh, I say. Well, don't let's waste time chattering about it. Has the mosquito plenty of fuel, Bertie? Oh, enough for a few hours yet, old bean. Then we'll ship straight back and look for Santa Zulu. You can guide me. Algy, you bring Ginge in the Proctor. Roger. Will we take guns? My word, yes. Although I don't intend to make any ground attack yet. If we see him, we might give him a rattle with the mosquito's cannon. I'd give him more than a rattle. He's done plenty of hunting so far. Let's give him a taste of what it feels like to be hunted. We'll find him first. Pet? Yes, Biggles? Will I bring the Oster? No, that old kite's too slow to keep up with us. Stay by the radio in the airline office. If we need you, we'll contact you. Roger. Right, old scramble blokes. Set a Zulu will be on the move by now. We must find him before he's moved too far. <laughs> Are we on the right course, Bertie? Well, I, I'm sure we are, old bean. And yet... What's up? Well, that belly old Lake Tanganyika. I can't see it yet. 
Perhaps we aren't close enough. No, oh, baked potatoes, old boy. It's the longest valley lake in the world. You can see it for miles. Well, even so... No, oh, it's all right, old bean. There's a mist ahead of us. That's blotting it out. A mist? At this time of day? That's unusual. Well, it's there, all right. You can see it quite clearly now. Look, it's spreading all over the valley place. That isn't mist. It's smoke. By jingo, so it is. I wonder where that's coming from. The grass, probably. Natives quite often burn off dead grass to encourage new growth. Oh, perhaps they do. But isn't it somewhat of a coincidence that they should burn off the valley stuff right across old Set of Zulu's path? Is that where it's coming from? I'm afraid there's no doubt, old bean. I know exactly where we are now. The black elephant and these boys are under that smoke. And they're trundling north just as fast as they can valley well trundle. Oh, confound it. The cunning blighters tricked us completely. Well, look here. Couldn't we trundle up to the northern end of the smoke and wait for them to come out of it? It's moving all the time. They're firing the grass ahead of them as they go. Oh, big valley potatoes. No, we haven't a hope of spotting the bounders. Not on this trip, anyway. Make contact with Algy and tell him to return to base. We'll figure out what can be done back there. As far as I can see, he's found a way to beat us. While he's on the move, he'll keep the fires going, and we'll never be able to locate him. Yes, by Jove. These belly fires will have us licked. On the contrary, if he keeps up that game, he's the one who'll be licked. How do you make that out? Well, the smoke would give us his position, and that's the last thing he'd want us to know. He could afford to pull that trick this morning because we already knew where he was. When he thinks he's given us the slip, he'll think twice before even lighting a cooking fire. Not only that, Pickles. Once he reaches the rainforest on the lower slopes of the Matumba and the Ruinsori Ranges, he won't be able to find the country. If he gets that far, we'll have the dickens of a job to find him anyway. These forests look terribly thick from here. Don't worry. He couldn't get through the forest, not with a herd of cattle. He'll have to follow native paths or game tracks, so we'll watch them. But where, Biggles? If we let him out of our sight now, goodness knows where we'll pick him up again. I told you the other day that I'm pretty confident I know his line of march. He'll follow the lakes. Tanganyika, Kivu, Edward, George and Albert. Then at the far end, he may follow water for the sake of his cattle. Yeah, that's the valley question, old bean. How far north? I worked that out with Algy this morning. I think somewhere to the north of Uganda. Every time he's disappeared for a long time, he has been last heard of in that area. I'm confident that his headquarters is up there. Then what do we do? Uh, look for his headquarters or try to catch him before he reaches there. Well, naturally, we'll try to catch him as soon as possible. We'll look for him when he thinks he's safe again and tries to make up for lost time. What do you think about it, Michu? One is right. Black elephant hide. Then he think he's safe and come out. But maybe Michu help Wana find this... this, this. Do you mean the headquarters? Oh, yes, Wana. Michu know top part of Uganda well. Know the people and know the country. If he should go up there and travel alone, maybe he find out about about the headquarters. That's a good scheme, Michaud. But you won't travel up there alone. We'll fly you. Is there anywhere up there we can land a plane? Latunga. Native kraal at Latunga. Near kraal is landing place for aeroplanes. That's right. There's a government landing field there. I've seen it on the map. It's purely an emergency field, but there's a rest house there, too. I don't think any white folk live there. No white man at Latonga. That can be our contact point, Michu. We'll fly you to Latonga, and then you can move about the country alone. Find out anything you can, and then come back to the rest house. We'll send up a kite from time to time to see if you're back. Okay? Yes, Moana. You look after it, Algy. You and Pat take him up in the, uh, after lunch in the Oscar. And keep your eyes open on the way. You never know what's likely to happen on a stunt like this. You remember what Biggle said before we left, Pat? What was that? Anything is likely to happen on a stunt like this. He was right. Look over to the horizon. Storm clouds. Algy, they look bad. They are. There's a cyclone coming. <laughs>
Algy squeezes every ounce of speed from the little plane in an effort to reach the Tonga before the cyclone hits. Can he avoid flying through the storm? What excitement lies ahead of the flyers in this northern corner of Uganda? Don't miss the thrills in the next chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles.